In most cases, a fault in the secondary air system can be identified by a scratching or whistling noise, or by the secondary air pump no longer working. For vehicles with onboard diagnostics, a diagnostic trouble code may also be saved in the engine control unit. Firstly, the electrical actuation of the secondary air pump by the engine control unit and the switching relay should be tested. A function test for the secondary air pump can be carried out with a cold engine, as the secondary air pump will then audibly run for a maximum of 90 seconds. However, the function test can also be carried out with an engine at operating temperature, using a diagnostic tester or an external 12 volt voltage source. In case this test reveals no malfunction, the following possible fault sources should be excluded. A secondary air pump is not designed for continuous operation. After using the lambda control, or after a maximum of 90 seconds, it will be switched off by the engine control unit. If this doesn't happen because the switching relay has become stuck, overheating damage will be caused. In most cases, signs of melting will be visible on the housing or plug contacts of the secondary air pump. Or a strong smell of burning will indicate this. If any of these damage symptoms occur, we recommend also replacing the switching relay. Frequent causes of failure are exhaust gas condensate or water in the secondary air pump. These firstly cause loud noises and then lead to failure. Here is a direct comparison between a functioning secondary air pump and a damaged secondary air pump. Clear water or rust signal a leakage between the air filter and secondary air pump. However, exhaust gas condensate can only enter the pump through the secondary air valve. In many cases, this is caused by the secondary air valve becoming stuck and not closing properly anymore. With a simple finger test, a quick check of the secondary air valve can be carried out. To do so, loosen the connection hose that leads from the secondary air pump to the secondary air valve. On this side, there should be no deposits. If there are deposits on this side, the function of the secondary air valve has been impaired and exhaust gas has entered the secondary air pump. The secondary air valve must be replaced in this case. If only the secondary air pump is replaced during repair and the faulty secondary air valve remains in the vehicle, Another failure can soon occur in the new secondary air pump. When it comes to pneumatically actuated secondary air valves, the actuating solenoid valve and the vacuum should be checked. If a vacuum of at least 690 millibar isn't reached, the entire vacuum system must be checked for leakages. For basic information on the secondary air system, its function and components, please refer to the appropriate video podcast. Notes on troubleshooting can be found in our service information sheets. For more information, contact your local motor service partner directly or visit the web addresses shown.